That is Hoboken, New Jersey. We have images just coming in. A bad situation getting even worse with each passing minute as the water comes up. Rain still coming down. So really the early stages of an epic northeast rainstorm. And we've got multiple closures there in Hoboken. We just spoke with the public safety director. And he talked about six inches of rain on multiple roads in Hoboken, New Jersey. That is in Hudson County. And police are telling that community to avoid non-essential travel. The most populated city in the United States, New York City, smack dab in the middle of this target zone. A one in 100 year flood event in progress over the Big Apple right now. New York City's uh, National Weather Service says the life threatening flash flooding is ongoing right now across the city. We do have reports of basements flooding. This has been a problem in the past. Also, some of the subways having trouble handling all of this water. You know, the subways are built to flood. They're built to allow this water to drain off of the city streets. It's pumping stations that keep it off of what we're seeing right now, which are the steps and other places where people try to walk. When you see this type of scenario, that usually means that the rainfall rates are over one inch per hour, or we have pumps that are having trouble. Yesterday, the crews were out. They were clearing out those pumps, getting them ready. Despite all of it, no service right now on the two, three, four, and five in Brooklyn. There's water on the tracks, as you can see, and that's problematic because there's electricity on some of those tracks. Rainwater still pouring into the stations like waterfalls, and unfortunately, it looks like the evening commute, we've got more rain to get through. Four inches of rain in Queens, all the way up to hoods of cars. Don't drive across flooded roadways. That's a bad idea for your car. 5.5 inches already around Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. Saltwater flooding has added to the freshwater flooding, and that's an issue down in the Battery in lower Manhattan. We've had Coney Island with reports of a school that was evacuated. That is the David Moody School. It's an elementary school there in Coney Island that was already evacuated. Uh, the Bronx, New York, rain coming down there. Difficult to travel. Looks like low volume. That's good news. And New York City's Times Square is wet. This could turn out to be a top 10 September to remember. We're talking about rain totals. And already with these storms coming in, the storm reports, this is one that's going to have an impact on a lot of people. And when you look at the severity of some of these storm reports that are coming in, it leads you to the impact being a ripple one. When you have vehicles stranded on the roads like we do in Coney Island on Pro Prospect Expressway, that's going to cause all kinds of travel delays across the entire borough um, network of, of roads.